The search for the cause of engines whose cooling no longer works can be very lengthy. Radiator cap relief valve, water pump, hoses and thermostat. Anywhere here can be the fault that affects the complete cooling system permanently. We want to show you a diagnostic method here that can significantly shorten the search for the cause of the thermal problems. The first thing to check is the radiator cap. In many cases, the pressure relief valve is clogged and you have solved the problem by cleaning or replacing the cover. However, if the radiator cap is OK, the more involved part of the root cause investigation begins. We therefore recommend measuring the temperature at the radiator inlet and outlet as the next step. Under full load, the difference here should not be less than 7 degrees centigrade. In normal operation, a difference of 10 to 15 degrees centigrade is normal. If the temperature at the input and output are approximately the same, the heat exchange of the cooler is no longer guaranteed. The reason for this can be an externally or internally clocked radiator. If the flow rate of the radiator is no longer correct, you can try to solve the suiting by flushing. You can also try to clean the lamellas that are clogged with dirt. However, if the fins are too dirty or even bent, the radiator is calcified inside or rusted due to wrong, missing or too low-dosed coolant. The problem can only be solved by replacing the radiator.